Hi everyone, welcome to another video. So today we're going to be talking about three different tools inside Glow. People always get confused on how to use them and like what's the difference between them. So I'm here just to explain the difference between the freeze, straightening and solidify tools inside Glow. So I hope you like this video. If you do, please give it a like. Uh, I have the link for the Discord down below if you want to join. Sometimes I do live streams in the Discord, talk to you guys i provide sometimes some downloads as well so it's very cool cool community if you want to join and follow me on instagram tiktok uh, and everything else <laughs> so yeah let's just jump right in okay so i have my clothes open and i'm just going to show you what is the difference between the solidify the freeze and the straightening tools okay so first of all to find those tools you click with the right on your mouse and they will will be here on freeze, straightening and solidify. And you can see that freeze, you have control K as a shortcut and then control H or H, how the British people say it, I don't know, uh, for straightening and solidify doesn't have any shortcuts. You can also use the same tools on the 2D window and is down here. Freeze, let's start with freeze. Freeze, your pattern goes blue, okay, to symbolize that you, that part of the outfit is frozen. And it literally just makes it completely still. If I simulate now, everything else moves but that part. That's literally what it does. It freezes. So you can either freeze part of the outfit, you can freeze the whole top. So what do I use it for? Sometimes I'm happy with part of the outfit, but I'm still modifying another part. So for example, here I'm happy with the top and I still want to make changes to the skirt, but I don't want the top to be moving around while I sew or change or, you know, things in the skirt. So I just freeze the top part to make sure it doesn't get affected affected by anything I do on the skirts. Uh, sometimes I want to maybe sew a very complicated piece to a part of the outfit. So I would freeze that part of the outfit so the sewing doesn't go absolutely mad and it just gets interfered and it just is a complete mess. So for example, for this part here, this goes on top of my skirt. When I went to sew this to the skirt, I had the whole skirt frozen and then I added the sewing and then I superimposed over which makes it go on top of the sewing and then I simulated so only this part moves and it just makes it easy to sew stuff on top and now I'm going to jump to the straightening tool so this one uh, people use for a lot of things but the main goal here is to kind of just spread your pattern in a like flat way so it takes all the creases or anything that is maybe folded makes it very flat and back to the original shape so sometimes you're working on something for so long that you have a lot of folds or have a lot of wrinkles and also people use it a lot sometimes to make things more um hard <laughs> Just a little bit more firm, still mobile, but firm. Sometimes it reacts a little bit like Bond would, but it's not its main goal. Its main goal is just to make everything flat again, straight, and then you take it away. The straightening tool makes the pattern go orange, just to symbolize that part of the pattern has that effect on. So the solidify one, it goes gray. This one is very similar to the straightening one. It's kind of in between the freeze and the straightening because it goes harder, but you can still move it. Okay, in some way you can still move it and it stays a little bit more solid. So people use this a lot. For example, if I want to make this sleeve go up and have this effect on it, you know, a lot of wrinkles, a lot of like just bulges to it. And now I want this to stay like that. You would, um, sorry, not flip the normal. That was wrong. That's not what I wanted to do. Control, go back. I would just now solidify it. And even if I simulate this, this won't really fall. It moves, but it won't completely fall. And you can still move it around and change, but it's still a little bit more solid and it stays in place. 
and then here you would probably just keep the effect on it but yeah that's the difference between freeze solidify and straightening freeze goes blue straightening goes orange and solidify goes gray i have my simulation on freeze do not move, doesn't move at all straightening you can see it takes all the wrinkles away and solidify is it in between you still keep the wrinkles and you can make this stay a certain way but yeah that was mainly it for today uh, i know it's a very simple tool but people have a lot of questions of like mostly on instagram oh why was this orange why was this blue people don't really know that's because i'm using a certain tool inside clo and then just to like to make sure you know i can open my render and those colors will not be there they'll all be this pink color here because that's my main fabric so don't worry you can have have those effects on and still render your images without those colors obviously if you're animating something and something is frozen that thing is not going to move solidify as well it moves but it will stay you know stiff so that's it for today just a small video explaining those three tools inside Clo. i hope you enjoyed it and it was helpful if you have any questions please let me know down below and yeah i'll see you guys in the next video bye